I mean, in some ways, maybe it, maybe it will make people pay more attention to hygiene. You know, I hope people, it does. Because you know and I know there are oh, yeah. people that go to the loo and they don't wash their hands. Absolutely. They don't. No, they don't. And it's they don't. crazy. And, and it's such food, a simple food way preparation to do. generally. Indeed. I mean, there are, there are lots of nasty bugs around mm. norovirus, E. coli, and, and basic hygiene would certainly solve a lot of these problems. But right now, this virus, you know, the hand washing is the most important Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Now, we know that because of people bulk buying yep. uh, irrationally, that yep. there is now talk of rationing mm -hmm. in, in supermarkets of things like hand sanitizer. Now, just to keep things in perspective, yes. hand sanitizer alone, hand washing alone, may not protect you because no. the virus lives on hard surfaces. Sure. People breathe the virus. Yeah. You know, we so you have talk to be about clean. You have to be, have to be... But yeah. you can make your own sanitizer. If Go you on then, to. Dr. It's not, it's not rocket science. So here we have the Lorraine. Homemade sanitizer. There you go. See, love. Um, and we've made that simply oh, with that. Um, some rubbing alcohol. Right. Actually, this is vodka. This wouldn't do because it's only thirty-seven percent proof. Right. So you need something that's more than sixty percent proof. So I would recommend rubbing alcohol. Right. Two thirds. Yeah. And one third your favourite moisturiser. Could be aloe vera okay. gel. Could be any of your favourite moisturisers. And if you like, a couple of drops of um, essential oil of yeah. your choice. So there it is. That is then over sixty percent. Rubbing alcohol. You can't right. drink it. It's denatured. It's not ethanol. No, you don't want to do it's, that. It's not the sort of alcohol sure. that you'd drink. But, then but you that, can do that. Yeah. would be as good mm. as these ridiculously inflated prices. 1,400% some of these things are being sold at. Stupid, it um, really is. A, a, a I just feel rate. really sorry for people, especially people who are a little bit older. Yeah. We've always said people who are a bit more vulnerable, you know, they've got a health condition or whatever, because... It's, you know, they're being told, well, you're the most at risk. We, that's the people that we need to be yes, concentrating on. Yes, the stats on. They're, they're reading are based on stats coming out of China, right. which is that if you're in your in your 70s, the mortality rate could be as high as 8%. If you're over 80, as high as 14%. Now, from my experience as a GP with elderly patients, I can tell you that the elderly are the more stoical uh, population yes, that I totally. know. They, they are saying it. to me, do you know what? We've lived through worse, Doctor. <laughs> We're not going to isolate ourselves. We're going to go out there and like and, and take our chances sure. we're not going to be isolated and and they're, and they're very sensible they're taking the precautions mm -hmm. they're not going to let anybody through the door who's got symptoms coughing and sneezing yeah they, they'll socially distance themselves where necessary but they won't stop enjoying the last years of their I life i think it's like what you've they? been saying all the time just keep calm carry on don't be selfish there's no need to buy every single bog roll in the country absolutely and then um, you can make your own hand sanitizer. And you can make your own hand Or you can sanitizer. just use soap and water. It's totally up to you. Hilary, thank you. Keep Voice staying. of reason. We've got to keep things in, in perspective Indeed, with we obviously have, yeah. having a bit of common sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Hilary Jones. I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, why not think about subscribing and uh, go to any of our playlists that you might find useful?